I'm going to give you five mistakes that I've seen small business owners make. These mistakes have destroyed their small businesses. Number one, for example, they say, uh, you just, just write a business plan and tell us exactly what you would like to do. <laughs> and you're writing that business plan to give to the bank. Banks are not on your side. They want your money. And they want you to convince them that you are going to be making money in the next three years. You can't know that until you start selling. Okay? Banks do not care about you. The government does not care about you. And also, the government cannot start a business. Look at all the state-owned enterprises. They have failed because the government does not know how to use leverage. Speaking of leverage, number two. If I give you 1,000 rands and I, go, I, I tell you to go start a business for me, I know you are going to take 500, at least 50% of the money and go buy inventory or go get a thing. You do not need that. Use leverage to your advantage. Just because a customer wants a diary doesn't mean that you need to go buy, buy 10 diaries and start selling them. No. You create an online store. You create all these things and you sell that thing and you go buy that thing from where you saw it and then you deliver it to a customer. The customer does not care if you bought that thing 15 minutes before you delivered it to them. Use leverage. Mistake number three that I've seen small businesses make. This one drives me crazy. It's wanting to be the head honcho, wanting to be to have attention. They create, they sell their things on their own business uh, personal page. They want their business to be about themselves. They say, this is my business, this is my baby, I own it. 100% of a business that is worth zero is still zero. Did you know that Jeff Bezos does not own more than 15% of Amazon? Yet he's one of the richest people on earth. It's not about ownership. It's about the value of the stake. It's not about the size of the pie. It's about the value of that pie. Start thinking about creating value. Your, the value of the business is actually limited to, the, to your capacity. So when you make it about you, it's limited to your capacity. You are the limit to the business because you are not letting other people come in who can create more value for that baby of yours. Another mistake that I've seen small business make, uh, owners make is uh, I'm lazy to read. Oh, I don't have time. I don't have time to read. <laughs> These books were written by people who are 300 million rands richer than you. And you're not going to read a book that talks about the mistakes that they made and how you can correct them. You want to go through all the mistakes that they went through and fail and give up because you're going to say it's impossible. No, it's not impossible. You are impossible. Read books. Leverage other people's mistakes. Leverage other people's wisdom and knowledge and skills and resources and secrets. They are here in the books. If you can't read, don't even dare start a business. If you do not have money, experience or skills, you need to read books.